Hello again, first graders. Welcome to math class. We are going to start module four, or lesson four, sorry, it, on page 361. All right, we have our I can statement. I can use a hundreds chart to add two digit numbers with one digit, digit numbers or multiples of 10. So our first question is, Meg has some toy rings. She gets 20 more rings. Now she has 50 rings. How can you find how many rings Meg starts with? So we know Meg has 20 rings. She gets some more. We don't know how many more, but we know the total she has now is 50 rings. So right now we are going to solve this equation, which becomes 20 plus, we don't know, equals 50. You have a big box. You can solve this whichever way you want. I'm going to use our tens. So if we have our total, we have 50 here. We have our, our, ten, our five tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We know she already had 20, so we're going to cross those off. And we have three left. So we have 10, 20, 30. So now we know that she got 30 more. So we can do 20 plus 30 equals 50. Now you may turn your math books to page 362. We're going to start with A at the top of the page. We have, how can you use a hundred chart to solve these problems? There are five blue hats and 22 red hats. How many hats are there all together? We're going to make an equation for this one. So we know we have five blue hats. and 22 red hats. You don't have to write this down. You can just underline it in, in your book. It's the important information we need to solve this problem. Now we're going to go to our 100s chart. We are going to add these two together so we know it's addition. So we're going to start with 22 because it's the biggest number and then we have to add less to it. So we're circling 22 in your 100 chart in your book. Now we have to add five more. So we're gonna go down the row. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and you stop when you get to five and circle it. So now we can do our equation five plus 22 equals 27. Moving on to B. Carol sees 16 red hats and six yellow hats in a store. How many red hats, how many red and yellow hats does she see? So we know she has 16 red hats and six yellow. Again, we're going to use the number chart to help us solve this 
equations. We're going to start with 16. And we are adding six yellow hats. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. When we get to the end of the row, we're going to continue on to the next one. So we've done four, five, six. We're stopping at 22. So for our equation, we will have 16 plus 6 equals 22. So she has 22 total hats. You're going to write at the bottom of your page how you counted on by ones, which is just what we did. We started with that biggest number, we started with 16, and we added six more ones. Turning to the next page, we are moving on to 363. Use a hundreds chart to add tens to a number. So we're going to start with number one. So we just added ones, now we're going to add tens. So we have the equation 40 plus 28. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to circle the number 28. We're going to start with the number that has ones. So find 28 and circle it. Now we're going to add 40. 40 only has tens. And we know that when we go from row to row, that it's adding 10 more. So we don't need to count by ones right now. We can count by tens. So we're going to add, and 40, remember, is four tens. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. And you're going to circle that number. So now we know that 40 plus 28 equals 68. Now you have two more equations below. We have 62 plus 30. And you have, so this is number two and number three. You can use the, the same 100 chart to solve those. I'm going to walk you through both of those on mine. So here, when we're thinking about what number to start with, we're going to start with the number that has ones. So 30 has zero ones. So we're going to start with 62. Circle 62. And then we're going to look here and think how many tens do we need to add. We know 30 has three tens. Then we stop there and we circle it so we know our end number. So 62 plus 30 is 92. For number three, we have 35 and 20. 20 has zero one, so we're gonna start with 35. Circle 35, and then we're gonna think about 20. 20 has how many tens? 20 has so we're going to go 10, 20, or 1, 2. We circle 55. So we know 35 plus 20 is 55. At the bottom of your page, we have check your understanding number 1. Sarah has 5 crayons. Mark has 24 crayons. How many crayons do they have together? So you can use the 100 chart at the bottom for this one. Let's think about what equation we would make. Sarah has five crayons. We're adding together. And Mark has 24. 
How many crayons do they have together? So here, we don't have any numbers with even tens, so we're going to add by ones. We're going to start with 24 because that's the biggest number and we have to do the le least amount of counting. So we're going to circle 24 and now we're going to add by ones. 5 has no 10 so we're adding by ones. So we go down the row this time. 1, 2, 3, 4 and we stop at 5. So 5 plus 24 becomes 29. You may turn your pages to page 364. This is our last page for the day, first graders. All right, at the top of the page we have Number two, Chris counts 12 cars, then he counts six more. How many cars does he count? Write the equation. So let's think about what's important in this word problem. Chris counts 12 cars. You can underline 12 cars if that helps you in your book. And then he counts six more cars. So let's think what kind of equation we're going to solve here. We're adding these two numbers together, so it's going to be 12 plus 6. Now if we look at these two numbers, we are going to decide if we're adding by tens or ones. Both of these numbers have ones. None of them have zero ones, so we're going to have to add by ones. We're going to start with the biggest number, which is 12. Now let's add six more ones. So we're going to go down the row. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to stop at 18. So we have 12 plus 6 equals 18. Number three is more of an open-ended question. So I'm going to walk you through it and you guys give you some examples and you guys can decide how you want to answer this one on your own. Evie adds tens to a number and gets a sum of 57. What two numbers could she add? Okay, so what we know is Evie adds some tens, but we don't know how many. And now we know her total is 57. So we're, you're doing addition, but you don't know which numbers, sorry, you don't know which numbers she's adding to get 57. All you know is one number has some tens. You get to decide, am I going to do one ten, two tens, three, four or five tens. You get to choose which one, and then you have to think, whichever one you choose, what other number added together is going to equal 57. Make sure you're thinking about if these are adding tens, that this number is going to have to have ones. And this number will give you a clue about how many ones. If we look at the ones place, there are seven ones. The tens are not going to have any ones. So we know we have to have seven ones. But how many tens you have here is going to be determined by which tens you choose. So I'm gonna let you think about that and you can talk with your parents if you need to and I want you to figure out which tens and which number on this side is going to equal 57. The last two I'm gonna let you do on your own. You guys have many tools that I've been giving you today, and you can add the last two equations, number four, 22, or sorry, 20 plus 55, and 22 plus four. You can do both of those. You have your hundreds chart. You know how to use your tens and ones. I want you to try and do those on your own. Thank you, first graders.